How's it going? Where did I put my gloves? Just one second. All right. So I have a quick little video today, and it's about a saw and a type of specific type, specific saw and a specific type of wood. Uh, so since I've been working in the sugar bush, I've been learning a lot more about uh, identifying plants when there aren't leaves on them. Um, so I've learned which trees are in the area and uh, discovered there's a lot of yellow birch, sugar maples, and this tree right here called ironwood. And uh, a lot of it's had to be brushed down to allow for light to reach the lines and trees. So there's I took a small chunk of dry wood here. I thought I'd use it to show as an example of uh, different types of blades and how they cut different types of wood. So many folks have seen, you folks have seen uh, many of my overnighter trips or backpacking trips. I bring this little saw, it's the Agua Canyon saw, the Agua saw, the Boreal 21. And I like it a lot, collapses, keeps the blade kind of tucked away and uh, won't be poking holes in your backpack. And it's really quick to set up. So I've been using this. And it comes with a general purpose blade, which is good for wet wood or dry wood. So when you get into like a really, really hard wood, like a, like a seasoned maple, a larger one, you know, something like five inches across, then it gets a little difficult. So uh, last time I was camping with my buddy Joe there, he got one of these new blades from the folks at Agua, and it's the Sydney Rancher uh, aggressive uh, blade. And uh, it excels at cutting uh, dry, hard wood. So anyways, he let me use it. I was struggling through this maple, trying to cut it. And uh, I was getting through it, but it was a lot of effort. And let me try his, and it was just like smooth as butter. And it wasn't necessarily removing more material for a stroke, but it was just less resistance, so it was easy to keep that continuous action up. So anyways, I have ironwood right here, which is very hard. Uh, ironwood, I've heard, can make uh, sparks out of chainsaw blades and uh, can dull axis and knives very quickly. Um, it was used as sleigh runners in the past and used to make handles for axes and for like levers back in the day because it's so tough. And I think it's so dense it actually sinks in uh, water. So anyways, I'm going to put this blade, which excels at hard dry wood, to the test with this stuff here and see if there's a difference. So I'm going to stop talking now and um, I'm just going to show uh, pretty much a whole cut with the original all-purpose blade and then I'm going to show a whole cut with the Sydney Rancher blade and uh, compare times and everything. All right. So, this is the first cut I'm doing with the uh, all-purpose blade. Oh wow! It's actually going pretty good. Vigorous.
there's a few knots in here. So I just switched over to the Sydney Rancher blade and uh, I'm going to test it out. If there's anything like Joe's, it's going to be a lot easier sawing uh, through this draw, a dry ironwood. That was quite a bit easier, quite a bit less resistance. I feel like it was removing the same, if not more, material. It's pretty wicked. Whew. Big difference. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. It's better for this, definitely this type of wood. So, I, yeah, I like this. I think it's great. Great blade. Uh, if you're going to be dealing with a lot of uh, dead standing wood, it might be nice, especially if it's uh, hardwoods. Although I like uh, the multi-purpose blade for uh, like brush cutting for clearing trails and stuff. And there's a lot, of, you know, living plant matter you gotta remove. Very neat. All right, I'm hungry. I guess I'm there. Thanks for watching, folks.